Hello guys, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to connect a Netlify form to, into your React app. So right now I have an empty app file here. So the first few things that we need is going to be form to two input fields, text area and a button. So form is going to have name of contact. Then method is going to be post. And action is going to be slash contact. So this one is going to be input type text. Name is going to be name. Just a placeholder so you can see what it is. That's only if you want to add it. The second input is going to have type of email. Name is also going to be email. And for the text area, name is going to be message. Placeholder is also going to be message. So these are some basic styles I made so we can see the form. So you can see where it is. And then this button is going to be going to have type submit. Like that. So based on this name, we're going to connect a Netlify form. So what else we need to do is go back to index file and under body and before the no script tag, we're going to add the same exact form we have here. We're going to replace few things. So you can copy this, go back here, make some space. So first thing we're going to do is remove everything from the text area, I will just gonna leave the same name. Like that, we're gonna remove the button completely. For the input we also can remove the placeholder, since these are all gonna be hidden, but we need to have them in our HTML. We're gonna remove the style from this. Name is gonna stay contact and we don't need method and action here. There are a few other things we need here to be able to use Netlify forms or to connect our form to this form that we're going to use. So the first attribute is our Netlify. The second attribute is going to be used for uh, for like bot fields, so you can't spam the form. So Netlify Honeypot equals bot field. And then the last one is going to be hidden. Like that. Then there's one more thing we need to do. If we come back to app, under this form, we need to add another input that's not going to be related to these. It's going to be related to this form here. Like that. So this input is going to have type of hidden. It's going to have a name of form name. And it's going to have a value of contact. So once that's done, there's one thing we, I mean, you don't have to add it, but I will because Netlify doesn't, this is not perfect in any means because you can send an empty message still. So we want to just add the required to like this and this input. So this is not a Netlify thing at all, like required. We just want to add that so user can submit an empty message. This works on every input. So after that's done, we want to go to GitHub, create a new repo.
and we want to push this project to GitHub first. Now we paste this line from GitHub. So we can wait for that to finish. We go to Netlify. Actually, let me see if this finished first. We go to Form React. We did. So we go new site from Git, GitHub. And we search for our name, which is Form. Click the form, deploy site. And then we need to wait for this to be published first. So from yesterday I was working on a different project and Netlify has Netlify added something to their website where for some reason every React app is gonna fail now. When you yeah, when you deploy it here. So we'll need to change one thing in build settings if this fails for you. Maybe you won't have the same issue I am, but they gave me a solution to use. So if this build fails, we're gonna, I'll, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So we just need to wait for it to finish building first. I'm pretty sure it's going to fail. And it's nothing to do with your app, it's actually something Netlify added. So if this is fine, you don't need to do anything if it's has published. If it's has failed, so this is the line we need. So you're going to go to Site Settings, Build and Deploy, Edit Settings. And here where it says Build Command NPM Run Build, you want to remove this and paste this line. Click Save. We're going to go back. We're going to click on this thing. And we're going to go retry, deploy, clear cache, and deploy site. So now, hopefully, that should fix our issue for our thing being failed. And you won't have the same issue next time you push this because we set the build to that right now. So let's just wait for this to finish. Then there's another issue we might encounter, maybe not. Because usually when you have routes in React, at least on Netlify, you need to add uh, one more file in your React app to handle those routes. So that could happen, maybe not. We're gonna need to see. If that happens, I'll show you a solution for that as well. So this is building again. Let's see if this is gonna be published or if it's gonna fail again. This shouldn't take longer than like 30, 40 seconds. So it should be done pretty soon. And then we'll have a link here where we can access our website. It's published. So if we go here, we have form. So let's say your name. Click send a message, it goes back to this page. If we go to Netlify, you if you want to find those, you go to forms, go to contact, and it's gonna be in one of these. So if it's like if it's a submission that has like some message, it should always end up in verified submissions, but if it's not there, it could end up in spam submissions as well, which are ended up in. So you can see, hello there, how are you doing, name John, email, this is the message. So it could end up in either of these, depending on the message. So that works. So if we click back to site, there we go. Now we can send another message, so let's do E, so your email. And then let's try typing a normal message.
let's put a normal name. Let's try sending that back to our site. Let's see if this is gonna end up in spam or verified. So it is in verified, like once the message actually makes sense and it's not some type of spam. Okay, normal name, email, and then the message here. And that's how you can set up your Netlify forms in your React apps. And if you have any other questions, anything, please, please feel free to, to put those in the comments. Hope you learned something new today. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Peace out.